Okay, for the Excel lab part two, uh, we're going to want to create two graphs. One that's a comparison of interest paid over the 30 years, 30 and 15 years. And then another graph that is a comparison of interest and principal paid for the 15 year loan. So we'll start with this one first. Um, here you'll see the periods are on the bottom, the months, and here would be the dollar amounts on the side. And then everything that's red is the, the amount of principal that's being paid, or the amount of the payment that goes towards principal. And then the amount of the payment that goes towards interest is here in blue. And as you can see in the first period, the interest is uh, the amount going towards interest is very high, and then as the time passes, it slowly declines. Okay, so to create the first graph, we're going to select everything from C1 here all the way to we want these two cells here we want the interest and the principal so that way we can create our our graph with these values so just going to select all the way down till we get to the last period which is 180 so up to this point here then to create this graph we're going to go under insert And then under charts, graph, chart, uh, same thing. Um, then we can click on insert column chart, and we'll have several options. The one we want is going to be the stacked column chart. So go ahead and click that there. And here's our graph, but we need to make some adjustments to it because it, it doesn't look very nice right now. So, but it seems to be correct. Yes. So we can go ahead and first of all maximize the size so it'd be a little bit easier for us to see. And probably we need some contrast here. Maybe make it a little bigger. Maybe a little bit of contrast. So we can choose the different options that are available to us. So we'll choose this one. It has pretty good contrast. It's easy, much easier to see and read. Uh, one thing we can do is we can adjust this horizontal axis here because uh, as you see the numbers start kind of getting close together and uh, it's very difficult to see. Well, well at least one thing we can do first is we can actually move this to its own sheet. So to do that we can uh, we can right click I believe. No. Um, Let's see. Okay, here. Uh, on the ribbon, we go under Design and then Move Chart, and we can put it in its own sheet. So I guess in this case, this is Chart 2. Uh, the name is filled automatically, so whatever name it is, it's fine. You don't have to uh, worry about it too much. So just click OK. And now uh, it's on its own separate sheet so it might be a little bit easier to work with okay so let's make an adjustment to this um, horizontal axis okay so the first thing we want to do is we want to adjust um, we want to adjust the axis here to do that go ahead and click and and then right click on it then we go to format axis and in case these options are not opened up, uh, you can just go ahead and expand them so we can see each of the um, different options that are available to us. Okay, so what we're going to want to do first is under the tick marks, um, this might actually be at just one. So we actually need to make sure that it's at 10. And then the labels it may either be automatic or it may be set to a specific interval of 1. right? So we need to make sure that it's at 10. And then once that is finished, 
then the number is uh, the category. It's just a general number because this represents the periods or the months. So then we can close this out. If it doesn't automatically adjust itself, uh, just click uh, away from it, and then now the adjustment is is visible. Okay, so the other thing we need to do is we need to put the uh, horizontal axis label for for the periods here, and then the one here for the amount of dollars for the payment. So we can um, by to do that we go under design. and then add chart elements and then we'll need access titles so let's start with the hor primary horizontal one right so that goes on the bottom here okay so to adjust it just try to, your best to click on it and then here we're going to do periods if it allow me to It's being a little slow. I apologize for that. Okay. So, per periods. Yeah, so it just takes a little bit. Okay. So then click here. Uh, we need to add the next um, access title, which would be the vertical one. Then we need to modify this. OK. And then here would be dollars. And then make sure you spell dollars correctly. Well, that decides to load. Uh, we can also adjust the uh, title here. So we look at our example. The title was Comparison of Interest and Principal for 15-Year Loan. Uh, we can just simply copy that text and uh, try our best to put it here. Uh, just select it and then Control-V. Should paste it. There you go. Yeah, you might not have the option of right clicking and pasting, but you can always use your shortcut keys instead. Uh, any other adjustments you might want to make? Uh, make the font a little bit bigger for the access titles, a little bit easier to read. If it's being a little slow, just go ahead and input the commands, and eventually, when the computer has time, it will go ahead and load them up for you. Okay, and then we can also make adjustments to the layout, I believe. Yeah, quick layout here. So maybe we might want the, um, we can just see what the options are. You see, so it puts the, um, the legend on the side there. That looks pretty good. But we can just see what different options are available to us. We'll pick the one that looks the best. Uh, they seem to all be pretty bad. <laughs> so maybe this one would be okay. See, so now the um, the legend is off to the side here, but it's up to you what layout you decide to use. As long as it's easy to read, then we're okay. Uh, we can also adjust this here on the side. Right click, format access, and then for number we can change this to currency, right? Because that's the number of payments. And then go ahead and close that out. Click away from it, and it'll adjust it. So now it looks more like, like dollars. Okay, so for part two. We'll go ahead and create a column chart uh, that will compare 
the amount of interest paid um, with 30 years compared to the amount of interest paid for 15 years. So to do that we're going to first create a new sheet. So go ahead and uh, click new sheet on the bottom. And then this column we're going to call it interest 15 and then for B1 we'll call it interest 30. Okay. Now we need to get all the values uh, of the amount of interest paid for the 15 year loan. So we just make sure that that everything is selected. So we start at the beginning uh, from C3 all the way down to 182. Okay, so then right click, copy, go to sheet 5, or in, in your case it may be sheet 4. Then go ahead and paste, uh, but here instead of pasting the ref, uh, the formulas, we're going to actually just paste the values. So it'll be the second paste option, and it'll be under interest 15. And then we need to make sure that these cells are formatted as currency. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing for interest 30. So we go to the loan 30, get the interest amount, it starts at C3, S drag this all the way down to the very end, and then right click, copy, go back to the new sheet you created, then right click, paste just the values format these cells and make sure it's under currency okay now what you're going to do is select all the values including the column headers I'll just go ahead and select them all it'll be all the way from a1 to 3 through to b361 now we're going to go under insert and then we have several options for charts uh, the one we're going to use will be the column chart so right click and we'll choose we'll, we'll choose a uh, 2d column the first one and then we have different styling options uh, we choose maybe a darker background it'd be a little easier to see the values right so then we can actually drag this out make it bigger now it's much easier to see it right so the the thing in dark orange is the amount of interest you pay in 30 years as opposed to the amount of interest you pay for 15 years which is in blue Okay, so let's go ahead and set up the title for this chart so that way we know what we're representing. So for title chart, uh, or I'm mean, sorry, for chart title, uh, we're going to do comparison. Comparison of interest paid over. 30 and 15 years. And we can use uh, title casing. And then the thing is, we need to label the values here on the sides because if we show this graph to someone, they're not going to know necessarily what these values are on the bottom. So we can actually put data labels. So let's go ahead and insert some of those. So we would go under chart tools. Um, and I believe it would be under f design and then add chart elements and then all the different things you can add are here so we want um, actually we want access titles not not data labels sorry about that so access titles and then we want primary horizontal so here for this axis, these are the periods or the months. We can put months in parentheses. Uh, we can we can also make this a little bigger so that it's easier to see. Maybe 
be something like that. Okay. Now we need a vertical access title. So we go back to add chart elements, access title, and then primary vertical. And then here, this will be the the interest interest in US dollars. And then we can also increase the font size of this text here. And I think we can do something consistent. And then we can increase the size of this title. And then maybe we can make this 20. And uh, I lost, I seem to have lost my chart. Okay, so it's there at the very bottom. So that way you don't have that issue. We can go ahead and right click on this chart. And then we can do, let's see here, we can go under design and then we can click on move chart. And then we'll do a new sheet. And by default, it's called chart one. So we can go ahead and use the same name. So then now our chart is in its own sheet by itself.